All right. All right. What is up? Sorry, it's been like uh, two weeks since I uploaded a video. Uh, the family and I got back from Florida and just been kind of get settled back in. And then uh, this week was actually my first week back at work. So kind of transitioning. Uh, since I got back, uh, first priority was to put 500 miles on the clutch which I think I'm at like 475, which I'm gonna call it good. Clutch feels great. Uh, the DKM twin disc is what I put in there and it feels super OEM, like the pedal's so soft. I don't know, when I had the uh, Spec Stage 3 clutch, the chatter was insane. It was like jerky, it made all kinds of noises. And I was like, you know, I was kind of used to that. Um, and I, was, I had a twin disc in my Evo and I remember it being the same way, but this DKM twin disc, smooth like butter so i love it great for daily driving it was actually pretty nice i was daily driving this thing to work um all day except for like one day or something like that uh, and the car did phenomenal except my ac stopped working i think my condenser is leaking but it's not a big deal because it's kind of getting a little colder here in colorado but i also uh since when i was gone i had my buddy zach at proform align the front um with the unicorn kit so that's all dialed in i got the falcon 615 steer tires in the front they feel amazing and this is the day before slush motorsports festival so big drift event um drag racing car show autocross but i'll be drifting tomorrow so i got off early and um i decided to just hey let me do a nut and bolt check right well, I'm glad I freaking did because my axle bolts were loose and it was slinging all kinds of axle grease everywhere. And I mean, this side, the these two bolts were completely out. So I don't know what the heck the, uh, the issue is here. Maybe they weren't torqued all the way down and the last drift event and street driving and I don't know, but I'm so glad I did a nut and bolt check. Um, I mean, that could have been my first lap out, axle destroyed, and then ruined the entire day. So, that I'm so, super glad that uh, I did that. And then, when Zach aligned my car, he marked them, just to kind of get a reference point, and just to see if anything's moving or anything. Um, no update to this car. Not gonna buy a drivetrain for that anytime soon been spending a lot of money I'm not gonna edit this video I'm just gonna upload it straight just because it's the night before the event and then uh, my buddy Sean is coming from Phoenix so he's coming over for dinner ruckus we missed you say hello to YouTube one of the first things I did when I got back was took my trailer to a uh, local guy here hey calm down dude all right I'll give you some love. go yeah, one of the local drifters here in town, and he built me this tire rack that supposedly can fit 12 tires and wheels. So, after I got it done, I was like, hell yeah, but I realized I'd, I'm only bringing six, so I only fill the front half of the rack. But I thought it was pretty convenient to have this on my trailer because I was tired of, you know, six wheels and tires in the bed of my truck. It takes up most of the bed of my truck. and. I bring a lot of stuff to the track, like a canopy tent, chairs, and stuff to make my family like comfortable while I'm there. So now I can put all the tires in the truck, or all the tires in the trailer. Yep. Other than that, I'm just gonna go over everything else, tighten everything else down, drop the car, and then pull the trailer out and just start loading my tires. Anyways, thanks for watching. Um, sorry I haven't been uploading. Got a lot of content coming up for sure. I just, just getting back into the work schedule because I've been off for like three months because of the baby. Shout out to the army. That was pretty nice. Um, oh, one of the Apex wheels that my wife, uh, my wife's F30, um, was like a, a little scratch right on the wheel. It's not this wheel, but I'm just showing you. When they were mounting the tires, it scratched like on the inside of the lip. And then shout out to rims to go in Colorado Springs, the owner Mark, uh, I've been going to him since I moved here and 
one of his guys messed it up and he was like hey man i'm just gonna order you a, a whole nother wheel sorry about that so i got a whole spare wheel which was like you know 360 bucks appreciative of that um got the front lip for her car side skirts i got the diffuser and like these little sequential mirror turn signals um and i also installed apple carplay in her car the other night uh the early f30 miles didn't get apple carplay so i just got an mmi box for like 300 bucks and installed that so that made the car more modern um what else i'm just talking to talk now got bav group halos um which are going to be going in those headlights because i'm going to rebuild those put it on this car if you remember i hit a deer and this headlight's all screwed up i wanted to do it before the event but like i said with going back to work and everything i just didn't have the time what else what else what else oh i got a new race equip helmet i guess i'll show you that tomorrow and you'll see it in the footage pretty excited about that got to order my wife one now um yeah all right enough talking let me just clean the car out drop the car and then start loading my trailer once again for the few people that watch this thanks for watching um and stay tuned for more